Hi guys, it was a bit of a gloomy day. We're in the end times, we're in the spider wart forest here. Good lord, I didn't know spider warts were, a, were an invasive species. They are gorgeous though. Uh, here on this cloudy gray Friday morning, March 29th, 2019, I'm on the Dog, how have you managed to do this? What are you caught on? Back in the former paradise of South Austin, Texas, getting ready to head off in my gas-sucking truck to go look at another truck. Good Lord, as the Craigslist, uh, the Craigslist rumble heads on and, uh, <clears throat> Before I do that, I'm going to be heading into a, uh, I'm going to be having a, an interview with Blythe Pepino, I believe her name is, about birth strike. So I got to get ready for that. I got a lot on my plate, so I'm just taking the dog for a walk. And I uh, just wanted to update you guys from my rant yesterday, uh, from my depressed Collapsitarian wine yesterday. Uh, I am glad to report that my vertigo seems to be a little bit better today. Uh, so hopefully I'm on the mend. I honestly think I was just dehydrated. So I got my blood pressure checked. As some of you were saying my blood pressure was high. Some of you were saying it is low, so I got my blood pressure checked yesterday, and oh boy, let me try to, because I, <laughs> I typed the wrong answer at midnight last night. My blood pressure is 122 over 76, so take that. This is, you know, your, my, that, uh, you know, bacon is my, the, basis of my diet. Uh, yes, little dog, are you in the... Come on. We're in the wilderness, the Amazon jungle of South Austin, Texas. Uh, so, I suggest if you want to have a blood pressure reading going into your 60th year of uh, 122 over 76 that you add bacon to your diet. Oh, that's a yellow jacket nest in there. Better be, better not walk too close to that. And uh, so I'm glad to report that. And uh, I absolutely love it that, uh, so yesterday, you know, I sit there and I'm bitching and moaning about all of these flakes on, uh, my, you know, um, Collapse Chronicles. Uh, just dissing me on interviews and all of that, uh, flaking out on me and shit. So I have that rant, and it finishes about 11 o'clock yesterday morning, and so I, I email the woman I'm getting ready to interview, Blythe, and tell her, that, uh, you know, just to confirm our appointment for today, meaning Friday, at 11 o'clock. I'm on the internet reading an email stream from her and confirming our appointment for Friday. And then at 6.30 last night, I go back on the same email stream and find out my interview was yesterday at 11 o'clock in the morning. It wasn't today. I completely flaked on my interview with this woman. And uh, so there you go. That's called the universe having a laugh. Let's go this way, little dog. We don't have time for a long walk. We you know we're gonna go this way. So, uh, I guess shit happens, but she was kind enough to accept my apology 
for my flakiness. This is just one more sign that uh, it's one more sign that I don't know what it's a sign of, guys. Obviously, I have too much on my plate. Uh, but right now, on my plate, after this little dog goes poop, uh, is washing my gas sucking truck and heading to New Braunfels, Texas to look at a hail damaged truck. So I have no problem. I kind of like that, that hail damage pattern. So I'm going to look at a 2011 Tacoma with 80,000 miles with a banged up hood and roof of the truck, assuming it is not sold by the time I get there. Uh, so anywho, just wanted to update you guys that my vertigo seems to be getting a little better. The blood pressure is fine. Look at this uh, shopping cart. You know, this is a big, about a quarter mile from here is a big uh, homeless camp here in the middle of in the middle of Boomtown, South Austin, Texas. What the hell is this over here? Good God, look, look at this. What the hell is this? You know, <laughs> we're so fucked. We really are. And uh, there you go. You know, I'm in the middle, I am standing in the middle of Williamson Creek. Uh, there was once a time when this was a free-flowing uh, major creek in Austin, Texas with uh, my buddy remembers when he used to catch five-pound smallmouth bass. Unbelievably, there are minnows in that last, that's Williamson Creek. There's Williamson Creek, and there's minnows living in there. And they're actually live animals in here. Fish. And uh, I've never understood this, because, so, you know, this will go dry weeks at a time with uh, completely dry, without a drop. And then it'll fill back up after a big rain and fish will reappear. Where the fuck do the fish go? But I, I mean the minnows. I'm not talking the uh, five pound smallmouth bass. They're long gone. Oh God, we're back to these, we're back to these damn survey flags. Oh shit, it's never ending. It's never ending anyway. I gotta get back up to, uh, I gotta get, get to the car wash. Go try to buy me a brand new used better truck. Wish me luck. Don't know if I'm gonna have time for an ecological meltdown roundup rant or not. There's another uh, shopping cart. This is the little side stream coming into Williamson Creek. Has more water than the damn creek does. All right, little dog, let's go to the car wash. Smoke him if you got him, guys. We all know why.